tonight, how the restaurant is fighting back. KSL News starts now. Good evening. One year ago today, a subway employee in Layton was arrested, accused of slipping drugs in an officer's drink. He was later completely cleared and never charged with a crime. Yeah, well, tonight, even more legal trouble surrounding this case for Layton City and the police department as well. News specialist Nicole Val live with us with our top story. Nicole. Well, Ashley and Mike, that employee worked here and last year sued the city and ended up settling out of court. But today, this 35 page complaint was filed. Now the owners of this subway are suing too. We keep joking that we're going to write a book that no one would believe us about the things that has happened to us at Subway and this takes the icing on the cake. It's been a year since this Subway and its employee were at the center of an alleged criminal controversy that turned out to be false. This last year has been the worst year of my life here. Franchise owner Christian Myers says. It's still acting up? No, it wasn't. Since then, business. We used to get a pretty good lunch rush in here and it's been dramatically cut. Just hasn't been the same. It's hard to keep employees. It's hard to keep morale up. That's why now they're suing Layton City and a Layton City police officer for slander. This is venal conduct by Layton City. What were they thinking? Attorney Robert Sykes says the lawsuit centers around comments Layton police made on record to KSL TV last year. The drink tested positive for THC and methamphetamine. When police accused an employee of a crime that was later proven he didn't commit. It's astonishing to me that they would be so callous, so thoughtless. Sykes says police never had any solid evidence that an officer was drugged and jumped the gun telling the media about the allegations. That's what you call an outrageous violation of rights that shocks the conscience. And this subway, small business, had a right to expect better of the Layton Police Department. Allegations that he says not only smeared the name of an innocent employee, but a local business. You drive by, think, oh, that's where that happened. That's where. It I don't think it will ever go away. A business Meyer says is still suffering today. And I just hope Layton City comes back and apologizes. And I did try several times today to reach out to Layton City officials, including city officials and police, and have not heard back or didn't heard back, hear back today as of news time. But we will be sure to follow up. Back to you guys. Yeah, we'll see how this plays out. All right, Nicole Val, live for us tonight. Nicole, thank you. Dave?